I fully recognize that that this behavior never do I claim that this was that rises to the level of a sexual assault mm. or or anything of that nature. What I am saying is that it's completely inappropriate, that it does not belong in any kind of a professional setting, much less in politics. So Joe Biden now responding to accusations of inappropriate behavior. Lucy Flores, the woman you saw there, accusing the likely candidate for 2020 of inappropriate conduct dating back to 2014. She was running for a statewide office in Nevada. She says Biden smelled her hair, kissed the back of her head during a campaign event. So what is Biden saying today? Garrett Tenney is on that part of the story live in Washington, D.C. Garrett, good morning. Bill, good morning to you. The former vice president says he does not remember that interaction the way Lucy Flores describes it. But in the Me Too era, he says it is important for men to listen, and he plans to. In a statement Sunday, Biden attempted to defend himself in both this incident as well as other similar ones that are now being looked at in a different light. He wrote, in my many years on the campaign trail and in public life, I have offered countless handshakes, hugs, expressions of affection, support and comfort. And not once, never did I believe I acted inappropriately. If it is suggested I did so, I will listen respectfully, but it was never my intention. On Sunday, Lucy Flores said she decided to come forward with her experience because Biden's past interactions with women weren't getting enough attention as he prepares to enter the 2020 race. I'm not saying anything new. There are videos, there are photos, there are full on compilations of him being inappropriate with women and you can see the discomfort in their faces. And, and it's been dismissed as if it's just Biden be Biden, Boys will be boys. No big deal. It is a big deal. One of the most prominent of those pictures she describes is this one from 2015 showing Biden standing behind the wife of then Defense Secretary Ash Carter during his swearing in ceremony. This weekend, though, Stephanie Carter fired back at critics in a post on Medium saying that Biden is an old friend who since she was nervous and was offering his support. Instead, she writes a still shot taken from a video misleadingly extracted from what was a longer moment between close friends sent out in a snarky tweet came to be the lasting image of that day. I thought it would be it would all blow over if I didn't dignify it with a response. But clearly that was wishful thinking. Now, Biden has always had an intimate and personal style to his interactions, but a lot of those interactions caught on camera are now getting another look in the Me Too era. Bill. Thank you, Garrett. Garrett Tenney in Washington.